Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So what we're doing today is something a little bit different and something that I wanna challenge myself with over the next couple of months. And that is some really strict back product reviews. Three or four minutes on some cycling specific products that I've been using really over the last year. What I thought we'd do is we'd kick off, well we'd kick off with these, the Oakley Flight Jackets. Now, for any of you who know me, you know that I'm slightly obsessed with sunglasses. This is a review that I'd really like to do. And also, look, those of you that follow me a little bit on Instagram have seen that I was um, posting some stuff during the week about writing them about the color matching and all that kind of stuff. Truth be told, I have been writing these for the last two months, just a little bit of social dark. Two specific features on these sunglasses, which I just really do want to highlight with you. The first one is this little pot up, pop up button, right? You've got the, uh, you got the sunglass on and you can do this little pop up button here which pops the sunglass off your, off your face by about five cent or five mil, I reckon. So you ride this and the humidity rises. Your glasses tend to fog up. When a million times I've got up to Akuna Bay or something like that. So I've been riding relatively quickly all the way out there, hit Akuna Bay and suddenly you just can't see a damn thing. I have found on a number of occasions now when that started to happen, I did the little button press or the a button press, I'm not sure what we call it. That little flick to pop it off five mil, the fogging had gone, 100% gone. Now, what will be interesting to see is in the winter conditions, I haven't ridden these in winter yet, but in the winter conditions, whether you know you're going from like quite cold to the seven, eight degree type thing, to then maybe when you start climbing and your body temperature warms up, whether the fogging thing still happens. Now, the other one that I wanna mention are the interchangeable um, arms. Now, as you guys know, uh, we run the Laser Z1 helmet and the Laser Bullet helmet. And what I found is the retention system on those two helmets is slightly different. It's not breaking it off. That where the retention system on the, the helmet is, is in a slightly different position. So instead of that just kind of resting on that and giving a little bit of pressure, it doesn't do it. Now, not everyone would have two sets of helmets that, or two helmets that they're changing between, but it is a nice thing to know that if you do change helmets, that the sunglasses will work across both of them. Now, Oakley make a big deal out of the fact that their sunglasses fit really well with their helmets. Surprise, surprise, same brand, it's all horse, so that's gonna be the case. But what about if you are not running an Oakley helmet? Well, I have good news for you. Um, now, this is how you know Chris has been telling you the truth. I have just come in from a horribly wet ride because look, my helmet is still wet. So anyway, helmet on, sunglasses on. Now, what I do like about the aesthetic here with these glasses is very, very minimal helmet gap. Very important, hashtag Ray gap. That is good. It's also good for aerodynamics. I have been told that is a thing that people worry about. Now, that is all good and well, but what about the most important part of the glasses helmet situation? Yes, that's right. The, how do they fit? I like it. Actually, to be honest with you, I've only ever had to do this once because normally you do that due to fogging up or something like that, whereas I haven't had that problem. Now, what I will say is if you are selecting these sunglasses, I think, personally, if you're gonna worry about, of course you're gonna worry about aesthetics, this is sunglasses. I think you need some color that is in this glass, in this helmet have my time again, I might run something that has the white on it, just because I think it needs something to pick up the framing of the helmet on the frame of the sunglass. The other thing, I absolutely love the pink, I love the black, and I love these prism lenses, but orange doesn't go with pink. That's just a fact. So, not sure how to best play that. So in conclusion, guys, these things retail for, well, just under $300. So they are an expensive little bit of kit, but you probably already knew that going in given these are Oakleys. 
look, they don't feel flimsy. They don't feel like the type of thing that are gonna fall apart quickly. The fact that you tend to be leaving these on your head, on your eyes, a lot of the time, I think will probably mitigate a lot of normal kind of sunglassy type dilemmas that happen along the way. Guys, if you like this type of thing, if you want to see me do more of these really short, sharp kit product reviews, please do like this video, comment below, obviously with any thoughts and suggestions on other, on other products you'd like to see myself do. And please do subscribe to the channel, guys. That is it from me today. Episode one of the Straight Shoot product reviews is done. We'll see you back for the normal vlog next.